All right, here I'm going to go ahead and go through and finish calculating out these ones. Uh, now, number one, I'm not going to do, not going to finish typing that in because you have the answer right there. Uh, typing in your calculator, you get 19.63. All right, but we'll go ahead and start doing these other ones. So finding the area of each of these. So this is a rectangle, and the area is length times width. The length here is 6 centimeters. It should have a centimeters on it there. 6 centimeters times a width of three centimeters and six times three is 18 and centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared and so if we check back over here 18 square centimeters that's what we've got that's good and then the next part is a square it is 10 by 10 and so therefore the area here is s squared and this is 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, which is 100 centimeters squared. And that should match up, 100 square centimeters. Good. Uh, next over here, we have a parallelogram, right? So we can find its area by doing its base times its height, which I talked about in the last video. So it has a base of eight and a height of five. So that'll just end up giving us 40 centimeters squared, which matches up. Uh, this next one, we had to use this one half this, so this essentially worked out to splitting it into two triangles. That wasn't a very good splitting. Splitting it into two triangles and doing the area of each triangle individually, so one half the base of this bottom triangle times height right there, that's one triangle. And then the other one is one half the height times the base of this upper triangle. And that's ultimately what we're doing to solve this one. So we can just go ahead and plug numbers in there and do it. So this is one half, the height is six centimeters, times our 12 plus eight is 20 centimeters, and half of six is three, and three times 20 is 60 centimeters, times centimeters gives us a centimeters squared. So for number five, 60 square centimeters or 60 centimeters squared. That works for us. Uh, this next one is another parallelogram where we're given a base and a height, and that's what we want to multiply together. So area equals base times height, which is five centimeters times four centimeters. And so this has a total area of 20 centimeters squared, which if we go back over here and check, 20 square centimeters, that's what we we're looking for. Uh, next is the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. So this is pi times three centimeters squared. And we'll use the pi button. So three times three is nine times pi is what we wanna do is 28.274, so 28.27 centimeters squared. And if we check it, 28.27 square centimeters, good. Next one, even though it doesn't quite look like it on my screen at least, is another square. And so the area of a square is simply the length of the side squared. And so that's gonna be seven centimeters squared. It's just like a rectangle, it's seven times seven. And that's gonna give us 49 centimeters squared, which if we check for number eight is 49 square centimeters, which is the same thing as centimeters squared. For this one, we needed to make two shapes out of it. The total area would be the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle, if I write it like that. I hope that helps. So the area of the triangle is one half the base of the triangle. Well, we know the whole thing here is eight, and we know that this little part in here is five. And so if that's five and the whole thing is eight, that means this leftover little part there has to be, let me get rid of all this red, this has to be three centimeters. So the base of the triangle is three centimeters. The height of the triangle is, uh, then actually going to be this four that's right here, so four centimeters right there, okay? So four is the height, four centimeters, plus the area of the rectangle. 
Well, the base of the rectangle is five, because that's this part right here. It's the same as what's up there. So five centimeters, right? Five centimeters times the height, which is four centimeters. And so three times four is 12. 12 times a half is six centimeters squared. Centimeters times centimeters. And then five times four is 20 centimeters squared. And so we end up with 20 plus six, which is 26 centimeters squared. And if we check our answer for number nine, 26 square centimeters, that's what we're looking for. All right, this last one here, we have another uh, parallelogram. So we don't really need to actually worry about that part right there unless you really wanted to break this up into two triangles and a rectangle, um, which I guess you could do. You'd have a six by three rectangle, and then you'd have to figure out uh, well, this would have to be four centimeters because of the 10 and the six. And so this would be four centimeters up here, and then you could go through and do it that whole way. Or we can just realize that this is a parallelogram, and so we just have to do base times height. Well, the base is not the six centimeters because the six centimeters is only this part. The base is this whole length here, which is that 10 centimeters up here. So it's 10 centimeters that we need to do. So area is base 10 centimeters times height 3 centimeters not that one right there so we got extra information we didn't even need really and so we have 3 times 10 is 30 centimeters squared and if we check we see we have 30 square centimeters there so so far so good okay so that's it for that page and i think the next page is actually on this sheet here so this one's about finding uh some more areas here. So I already said before we had to find the air, half the area of the circle and then the area of the triangle. So half the area of the circle, area of the circle is pi r squared. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we have one half pi times our radius. The radius is half of that. So it's three inches half of that six, three inches. And then we have to add on, uh, oh, and squared. And then we have to add on one half the base of the triangle is the whole six inches. And the height of the triangle is this four that's right there for that part, is four inches. And so one half times pi times three squared, three squared is nine. So this is nine, uh, times pi times one half, and then that gives us 14.1372, and then we're just gonna keep that in the calculator, go ahead and add on uh, one half times six times four. Well, six times four is 24, so half of that's 12. We're just adding uh, 12 on. So this ends up giving us 26, right? Here's our total area. Our total area equals uh, let me move that over. Area equals 26.137. So I'm going to put one four, rounding that off. Inches squared, right? Inch times inch is inches squared, and inches squared plus is there. And so inches squared plus inches squared is inches squared. So 26.14 for number 11, 26.14 square inches. So there we go. Going back, we have this next one. Uh, we have two triangles that are the same. This triangle and this triangle are both the same. And so therefore, the base of this triangle, we're kind of turning it on its side where this over here, this side here is the base, this side here is the height, and it's the same base as over here and height as over here. So we have two of those triangles. So the area total is two times the area of the triangle, right? We have two of the same triangle plus the area of the rectangle, right? That's this rectangle here, okay? Maybe do that in a different color, this rectangle right here. And so we go through and just find them. So two, the area of a triangle is one half. Base, in this case, is four centimeters. Actually, I'll go ahead and write it. One half, undo, go away. One half base times height, and there's two of them, plus the area of the, of the rectangle, which is, 
length times width is what we did, right? Length times width. And so now I can plug this in. Two times a half, two times a half, they just cancel. Two times one half is just one. And so this is just base times height. So it's four centimeters times three centimeters for the height. And then the length times width here is gonna be 10 centimeters times four centimeters. And so in this case, four times three is 12 centimeters and 10 times four is 40 centimeters squared for both of those because centimeters times centimeters and centimeters times centimeters. And 40 plus 12 is 52 centimeters squared. So 52 square centimeters, if we check over here, I'll go back to right, there's our 52 square centimeters. All right, down to our last two here. So this one I told you everything to do, uh, and the only thing I didn't do was plug it in, which you can still go ahead and do, try plugging it in. The answer is right there. When you plug all that in, you should get this answer right there. And then this last one is about subtracting the area of the square and then subtracting off the area of the circle. And so this is our area, and so it'll equal area of the square which is s squared minus area of the circle, which is pi r squared. And so s squared is six centimeters squared, and then minus pi times the radius. The radius is half of this. So this line here is the same length as that line there, and then our radius is half of that. So three centimeters, so times three centimeters squared. And so six times six is 36, and then we have to subtract off three squared is nine. So it's 36 minus nine pi. So we can do 36 minus, and then be sure you use your parentheses because you don't want to subtract nine and then multiply by, not by pi. You want to multiply the nine by pi first and then subtract it from 36. So be careful when you type this in. So it's ultimately 36 minus, and then in parentheses, nine times pi. And that gives us 7.725. So this will be 7.73 and then centimeters squared will be our answer there. And if we come over here, we get 7.73 square centimeters. Okay. Well, there's all of those problems worked out for you for areas. Uh, Hopefully that helped if you were stuck on any of them. And if you know you have any further questions, be sure to let me know. Thanks for listening.